So today I am harvesting potatoes with my three-year-old. I put on some gloves because uh, I highly recommend doing that. Uh, there's bugs and things in there and I recommend your kid does too. I would go with the ones that are easiest to put on. Um, so my name is Blair. We are in zone 8B, Central Texas, Austin urban area. This is a small garden bed where I planted a bunch of potatoes in the center and some garlic around the outside. You'll see the garlic there. Um, we started with purple potatoes first because my daughter loves purple and I thought that would get her excited. Um, I'm doing the shovel work here just because I was worried that if my daughter got in there with the shovel, she'd stab all of the potatoes and that probably wouldn't be the right idea. Um, I think this was probably the best thing. I pulled the whole plant out and I kind of did this later. Um, digging around to see if there's any more potatoes right now, but um, pulled the whole plant out and there was a few attached to the roots and and my daughter enjoyed pulling them off of the plant. So you kind of got to loosen the soil around the base of the plant first. Um, you'll see I'm digging in the soil a little bit around this plant, maybe prying it up with a shovel um, and clearing off the, the top so that when I do pull up the whole plant, um, or maybe I didn't do that this time. Yeah, there we go. I was showing her the color of the potato and then, um, then I pulled up the plant and she pulled the, the potatoes off of the plant there. And we got to look at the pink ones versus the purple ones. Oh, there's a couple more. I thought that one had not very many, but after, um, digging around in the dirt a little bit more, we found a few more. You want to dig in the general area around the plant, but usually it'll be connected to, or you'll kind of feel pressure pulling from the roots because the they're pretty close into where the roots are. Obviously, they are root vegetables. Um, my daughter and I were just talking about, you know, what is a potato? Is it a root? Is it? And we kind of compared it to carrots, which we pulled out before. Um, this was another set of the skin is pink. I think the inside is white. Um, but she didn't really want to dig in the dirt. It's kind of funny. Maybe if I'd given her a shovel and maybe next next potato season I'll I'll give her a shovel and just, you know, not worry too much if the if the skin gets damaged a little because um yeah, there she's she's playing with the shovel. And I was like, oh, I don't want the potatoes to get damaged. But honestly, in retrospect, I think it would have been perfectly fine for her to play with the shovel. She didn't want to stick her hands in the dirt uh on this particular day. So I kind of unearthed the potatoes and then let her her dig into them. I think there's a total of five plants here, uh, four or five. There were two pink, one purple, um, and then I, there was this one, which was just a, I guess a regular white potato. Um, and there was kind of loosening the dirt around it. Not right, that might've been the original seed potato, that browner looking one. Um, kind of looking at it later, that one and, and another one that I found kind of looked, um, looked like the original seed potato. So obviously this potato in particular wasn't very productive. Um, three or four potatoes and, and one of them, the original seed potatoes and a great number. Um, I guess it was four plus the original seed potato. And here we go. I think this is the last one. This was a white potato as well. There were again, three or four potatoes. I think potatoes are, I don't think this is a bad harvest. It's not a super abundant harvest. Um, I spent a lot of the season pulling, uh, what are they called? Pill bugs off of the plant. For some reason they were eating it. I'm digging around, I think in, in hopes there are more potatoes, but also kind of knowing there aren't any more, but, um, that was kind of the whole haul there. That one's probably sea potato and that one too, but that's a good size bowl. That'll be a dinner's worth of potatoes. Well, thanks for joining us for a little potato adventure. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, I often hear it described as uh, digging for buried treasure. So that's that's kind of how we viewed it and how we talked about it during this harvesting session.